So, so how should you design your application for microservices? A single, simple sentence. That is your guiding principle to design microservices. You should be able to explain what one microservice is doing in a single, simple sentence. For example, let's take an application like Eventbrite. A good example of what one microservice would be doing in an application like this would be registering a person to an event. Now this is a single simple sentence and it accurately describes what an action is instead of being vague about it. A vague example, which means a bad example, would be a service that manages registrations. Now manages is really an umbrella term that a lot of things can go under. For example, if someone tells you that they have a microservice that manages registrations, and then if you ask them, okay, so how do we get statistics on registrations for an event? Or how do we handle payments? How do we handle cancellations or reselling? If the answer to all of these questions is this one microservice that manages registrations, you don't have a single simple sentence that describes what that service is doing you have a paragraph. You would have a separate microservice that you can describe by saying, this service executes the payments for an event registration. This single simple sentence idea should be your guiding principle when you're designing microservice. If you wanna be fancy about it, you can call it the single responsibility principle. That's what a lot of people who wanna sound smart tend to do, but it really boils down to being able to describe what it's doing in a single simple sentence. Some more examples in this uh, type of application could be creating a new event or searching through a list of events based on some search query or maybe even generating a list of recommended events for someone based on their interests. All these are their own microservices because they're all described by a single sentence. Now this single responsibility doesn't have to be a business concern. It can also be a technical concern. For example, authentication. You would have a microservice that accepts user credentials and gives you the user information. You would use this throughout the application to figure out what the user has access to or just to store something in the database with their ID on it. But this authentication part would be handled by its own microservice. Another technical example could be sending a user a notification. Now this could be through an email, through a push notification, through a text, whatever. If you want to do all of these, you can build multiple microservices for each of these. So you would have one microservice to send an email, one to send a text, one to send a push notification and so on. In that case, you might also want to have a coordinator microservice that coordinates communication between these individual microservices for sending notifications. So for example, when someone signs up for an event, the event registration microservice would send a request to this coordinator microservice saying that this person has registered, please send them a notification. The coordinator service would then tell that to the individual microservices, the one that handles emails, the one that sends text, and the one that sends push notifications. I hope this video gave you a better idea of what microservices are supposed to do. Stay tuned for my next video on when should you consider building a microservice architecture.